Okay, since we have our legs bent, now what I do is simply tape them in place temporarily. That one is already on there. We set it on here. We work it around until the bottom section here is approximately 90 degrees to the, to the cage hoop here. And this is just temporary for the time being. So get it as what you think is 90 degrees. And tape that tube on. Just so this is touching here, right here. that on there like so. Okay, after we have these taped on temporarily, we're going to want to make sure that we have a minimum of 18 inches between these legs for our APCO harness. We're, we're going to need our 18 inches there. So double check that a few times. At the widest point between them, we want at least 18 inches. 19, 19 and a half is good. Okay, now we'll go ahead and stand the machine up on the legs. They're just taped on there for the time being. We'll just do a little preliminary checking here from this radial tube to the center of this is 9 inches. This one is, we'll make that one, we'll put that one at 9 inches. We'll just kind of measure to see how square we are. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That looks pretty good. Make sure our legs are directly in line with our center, with our main center section there. Just double check again. Get it close there. Now we're just going to take our hand drill, making sure that they're they're parallel, and we have a hole right in here through the back between this bar and this bar. There's a, already a hole, so we'll just hold it tight and we'll just drill through with our hand drill. Same to the other side. take this all apart and we're going to bolt that section on. So now we can, we have some holes drilled, we can bolt our legs to it. This one bolted down. We can take a AN31. We can put on a, uh, a washer. Put that through our leg with our hole drilled. We 
can put on another saddle, a three inch space or three eighths inch spacer, and another saddle. Put that down there. Another saddle. Of course, a washer and a nut. down parallel with our frame there slug them up a bit and then we can stand the machine up and drill our other our, our other holes here these two holes will go in the bottom radial tube down below these two bolts here. We're going to have to drill them both. Our other bolt will go through below these two bolts into our bottom radial tube through both tubes here. And those I just drill by hand as best I can. And then when it's all over you're free to cut this off wherever you wish to. Just leave yourself enough room for those plastic end caps to slide over and not hit, uh, hit the saddle there. I like to put these where we marked our 19 inch mark up from the floor. That mark is still on these legs. That's where I'm going to drill my holes. inch mark that was on those legs from before. Once again we'll put our washer and a saddle. Another saddle for that tube. Our 3 8 inch spacer. Slide another saddle in there. Saddle on the back. A washer. And our nut. Okay, once you get your legs all bolted on, chances are these are going to be a little, a little off here. So I, what I do next is determine what our, our length, our width between them is going to be. This is nine and three quarters. That's ten and a quarter. So we'll just move it up against the block here. We'll, we'll just de determine a length here. Nine and three quarters. Nine and five eighths. Nine and three eighths. We'll go nine nine and a half. I'm gonna make make this so we get it nice and square. Nine and three eighths. Nine and three eighths. So we're gonna cut a tube nine and one eighth because our saddles. Actually, our stubbies, we're going to put stubbies in here. Our stubbies are, are an eighth inch thick. So we're going to make this nine and one eighth. We're going to minus a quarter. And then we're going to bolt that in there. 
Now we're going to drill by hand and bolt these in here. Okay, we have our cross brace here mounted in. Now all that's left is to just check what we have. Just check our measurements a little bit from, from this radial tube. You just want to get these in the middle. It's nine inches to the center of this tube. This one's well, about eight and three quarters, so we can just shift the whole thing over an eighth and make it uh, just shift it over till we get it. And that's right on nine. Eight and seven eighths seems to be the magic number here. We have uh, nine and three quarter, nine and a half. Nine. Get it lined up there where you're gonna need it. Now we're gonna drill right down through both of those. Just line it up as best you can, that's all you can do with this one. Okay, so once we have established where we want to be, I have one hole drilled already. We're going to drill our second hole. Just hand drill down. And once again, we had four one inch saddles made for one inch tubing. That's what this one here is. We had those set aside. We're going to need those for the saddles on this tube. It's important when you drill this one to be aiming for the center of the lower tube. Just start in the center of this one and be aiming for the center in the, in the lower one. Your saddles will come out much nicer. We'll put our washer on. A 7 8 saddle. Get it in there. There'll be some tension on here because we didn't plan for that quarter inch space, but that's okay. saddle on, a one inch saddle in there, back to back, we can go ahead and cut these off wherever we want, we would just want to leave enough for our plastic caps. Okay, and these two tubes down here, we can cut off anywhere we want, I leave an inch or, I leave an inch and a half stick out and then I plug wheels on. I'll show you that a little bit later. We'll get these cut off and we'll continue on with our center section.